Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Are you prepared to get jacked for motion controls? I know I am. So I of course have finally received my DualShock 4 controller. I don't own a PlayStation 4. Uh, the I think the most recent console I own is a PlayStation 2. <laughs> so I'm not hipping with it. Um, but the reason I've got this is because it's just got so much customization potential uh, through third-party programs like uh, DS4 Windows and whatnot. Um, and it's kind of like, if you think of PC as, as the customization platform, which I do, it's kind of the ultimate controller. And not to shill it, like, I'm not, I'm not, that's not the purpose of this video, but I just want to show you some of the cool things um, that I've managed to do it. So, all right, I'll stop moving my hands around and being a, a typical Italian right now. And let's just, let's just subtly, you know, move around. And we get some really nice control just with the motion controls here. And I'm using, uh, I forgot what the, the input mapper. I think that's what it's called. I'll put a link in the description and there'll probably be an, an overlay on screen of, of the, um, basic settings I've, I've got for, for getting this to work. It's really not that difficult. I, I started off with, uh, DS4 windows, which seems to be the the most commonly recommended one. And it certainly has a lot more customization options, but I had some trouble with it, um, getting the the gyro, the motion controls to emulate the mouse. It would, um, when you left it alone, it would just drift down on its own, which is infuriating. <laughs> so I feel like for most things, that's fine because of the customization potential, but um, Input Mapper is what I've had to use um, in order to get this head track, head tracking working for, um, for Elite Dangerous. So uh, I've got it set, like I said, I've got it set to emulate the mouse. So if I grab my mouse here, you'll see that I can actually head look just with the mouse and that's all well and good, but you can't do that while you're flying. So you may notice that I keep clicking in, um, what do they call it? R3, you know, basically the, the right thumbstick here. Um, basically I've got it set up so that as soon as I open Elite, it's, um, it's ready to go with the head tracking. Head tracking is on by default, uh, so I don't have to mess around with, any, with anything. And um, just clicking in that that thumbstick will center it. So you know, naturally, it's not a perfect system. When you're moving around a little bit, sometimes it. I I, I know how how to really explain it, but like, look, I've just moved around and now I've centered myself, but it doesn't know I've centered myself. I think that's because um, the controller only knows where it where it itself exists in terms of um, gravity, right? It doesn't know where it's facing. So I've moved around and it's sort of gotten lost and now it thinks that is forward. So I just click in the thumbstick. Simplest thing in the world. It doesn't stop me from doing anything else. I can still be using that thumbstick. I just click it in and it centers my view. It's perfect. So uh, whenever it goes flying off somewhere and I really need to look in front of my ship, I can just do that, not a problem. Um, it's super natural. Um, of course, you know, then you've got the, the regular things, just the, um, the D-pad will, will by default handle the, um, you well, the menus, as you can see for one, and also the, the power management, uh, down right there. See, now I can kind of point cause I got these motion controls. How cool is that guys? <laughs> um, you know, standard, I got my, my triggers as, um, as my primary and secondary fire. The only thing I've changed is I do like the macro keys on my keyboard, which is what I was using before when I was using my uh, joystick. So they, they are set to, uh, you know, like 100% throttle, 75%, 50%, 25%, and zero. So I just whack those and I, and I get myself centered. And then I'll use the, um, the R1 and L, L1 buttons, R1 to to thrust forward and it only thrusts forward as, as long as I'm holding it and um, an L1 to, to thrust backwards. And that gives me some more uh, fine control and it, it aids with um, with docking and whatnot. And that's pretty much it. Now, I've got the advanced gamepad controls in the Elite Dangerous setting. So um, a lot of what I do is just like hold circle and uh, direction on the D-pad and it'll drop the landing gear or something like that. It's super easy guys. I've also, I think I've set it up like this. I might, I might have to do it again. I'm not sure. Um, I've set up just clicking in the, um, the trackpad here. Um, it actually, it, it does click. It's got, um, hang on. What did I just do? 
did I just press the mid? Yeah, I think I just pressed the middle mouse. So yeah, it's got middle mouse left and right and you can set up to do whatever. Um, you just click that in and I, um, I turn flight assist off. So it's, it's super easy. I'm flying around, just boom, flight assist off, do some crazy maneuver and I'm back. It's, it's super quick and super comfortable and I love it. Now I'm going to show you some combat. We're just going to go into the, uh, training mode thing just to keep it simple and, and controlled. Uh, let's check that out. All right, and here we are in the incursion training, I think. We've got a big fat-ass asp, which I'm not crazy about. I, I would prefer something a little bit more maneuverable, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much. We may as well get our weapons out. Um, and as you can see, we are reasonably capable with the controller. I say reasonably capable, and then I pull that stunt. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Almost, almost done. Almost done. There we go. Cool. And it just, it just feels real natural. Um, once you get used to it. Like at first, you, you, you do realize, you sort of, you sort of forget that, that your hand movements actually control the camera. Um, but like I said, eventually you get used to it and it just becomes, I don't know, like an extension of your very being. <laughs> In some ways, I feel like it, it's... Now take take this with a grain of salt because I haven't actually tried head tracking properly with the head, um, but I kind of feel like it. This feels this might feel more natural than head tracking because think about it, if you want to look to the side, you've actually got to take your head away from the screen. I feel like again something I haven't tried, but something I'd really like to try. Um, the the ultimate in terms of um, moving your head around in in games like Elite Dangerous would be eye tracking. Like using one of those uh, Steel Series sensors or something like that, that would be really cool because then you know you, you you keep your your face forward, you keep looking at the screen, which is what you want. Um, there we go, done. And you just you know you just move your eyes around and it'll it'll track like that. It still could be a little bit awkward, but um, I don't know it's sort of tricky without it's it's a it's a tricky thing to deal with um, without going proper like VR headset I think and that's really the the only way to go for a proper immersive experience but I really like this as a as a fairly cheap compromise I say fairly cheap uh, for most people it will probably be fairly cheap but of course um, DualShock 4 controllers are not the cheapest thing in the world in Australia unfortunately not and, and they're not even they're also not easy to find <laughs> like no one had them in stock it was madness, um, but that's neither here nor there. This is really cool, guys. I'm really, um, I'm really enjoying this. I'm still getting used to it a little bit. Like, yeah, I pull up a little bit too far um, sometimes, and that might be a matter of maybe adjusting the sensitivity, um, or maybe just getting used to it. I, I kind of feel like I want, I'd rather get used to it than play with the settings anymore because they, they're in a pretty good place as they are. Let's get some more power here and and deal with this savage radiant dawn my ass oh yeah I love me some missiles <laughs> this, is, this is taking longer than I'd like there we go it's simple as that guys it's so good I love this I'll, I'll never play any other way ever again <laughs> Hang on, sorry, I gotta, I gotta remember, it's like a yaw movement, it's not, it's not roll, because roll doesn't feel that natural. But yeah, if you've got a swivel chair, you just like, swivel around, and it, it just, it just feels right, guys. <laughs> I don't know what, what more to say, I'm just super, super excited with this, with this concept. Ah, see, I gotta remember my key bindings now, because to target, it's, I gotta hold Y and then hit a direction. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Still got to get used to... I, I very, very rarely use missiles. And I'd like to use them more. Um, but I've just got to get used to when it actually goes... Bloop, bloop, lock. There we go. Thank you very much. Anyway, guys, I'll, I uh, won't go on for... Uh, any much longer you get you get the idea you, you see how it works you see that I'm excited about it you see that it's pretty cool 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to gently caress that like button. It needs love like everything does. Taste the game, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.